everybody, my name is Simone Isaac Beer from Your Science Lab, and today we're going to be doing a few problems from a, a Calculus BC review test that I found that I found to be pretty fun. So we're going to try the first one of them right now, and we'll see if you not only learn something from it, but also find it really fun. All right, so here's number one. Limit as x approaches zero of e to the x minus cosine x minus 2x over x squared minus 2x. Now, you can see that if we just take the uh, limit immediately and plug in 0 like a barbarian, then we get e to the 0 minus cosine 0 minus, uh, no, that's not 0, minus cosine 0 minus t uh, 2 to the times 0 over 0 squared minus 2 times 0, which leads to getting 1 over 0. That denominator is a big, fat problem. So, what can we do to remove that denominator that gets zeroed? Well, it's a little fancy something called L'Hopital's Rule. Apparently, there's a silent S somewhere in here, but I don't care. French uh, people are weird anyway. French people aren't people, and French names aren't names. Sorry to tell you guys that. Okay, so L'Hopital's Rule is when... You take, well, let's close this one because it's getting dried out a little, is saying that if you take the limit as x or any variable approaches 0, f of x over g of x, it's equivalent to the limit as x approaches 0 of f prime of x over g prime of x. So what that means is we can basically take the derivative of the top and the bottom and the limit will stay the same. So, let's do that. So, let's write that down. That means that we get the limit as x approaches 0 of, what is the derivative of e of x? Well, it's e to the x. What is the derivative of minus cosine x? Well, it's minus negative sine x. Or in other words, minus and minus. And I swear, if you bring this out one more time, it makes plus. And then, taking the derivative of minus 2x yields minus 2. Over the derivative of x squared, which is 2x, minus the derivative of 2x, which is 2. Okay, so now, what we're going to do is, we could reduce this even further, but there's not really a use in that. Because, once we plug in 0 here, let's see what we get. You might notice that now the bottom no longer gets zeroed whenever you plug a zero into it. All right. Oh, yeah, and I just realized cosine zero is actually one. So that means this is zero over zero, not one over zero. Big oopsie. All right. So now let's see what happens if we just plug and chug. We get e to the zero plus sine to the zero minus no, that's not 0, that's theta. Minus 2 over 2 times 0 minus 2. So that's just e to the 0 is 1, sine, to the z uh, sine of 0 is 0, and then minus 2 over 2 to the, uh, times 0 is 0 minus 2. So we just get minus 1 over minus 2, or 1 half. That's it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And let me just uh, give you guys the big red circle so you can see it better. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Wiggly, wiggly, work. Saborno Isaac Bari, who is known as the god of mathematics, became the youngest professor in the history of mankind.